played against Kazu on Magic Online this week, and he's playing this deck. And I told him that the deck I was playing was garbage. And he said, I hope mine isn't. And I said, we could just play the red deck. He said, I can't play the red yeah. deck well. So, wondering about our top eight, Joe Stempo in, Michael Hamilton in, Aaron Barich and Austin Collins in. So one's first through four. No one else locked just yet. We'll keep an eye on what we know. So far though, Kazu's deck is working out. One last test for it. Servant of the Conduit gets hit by a sensor from Gerard Fabiano. Yeah, two copies of sensor in the main deck here for Fabiano. Yeah, yeah. The card we really haven't seen a lot of, but pretty great here is now Gerard goes for search for Ascanta. So far, so good as Kazu makes land war elves and misses land three. I like everything about this as Gerard cycles another sensor. Yeah. Kazu really wanted that servant to resolve. Missing land drops from here is going to be tough. That was because that was the shield's downturn. Gerard's right now, you know, counter spell into search is great. Moment of craving on the elf's fantastic. Yes. I like everything about what's happening. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Kazu's payoffs are going to cost at least three mana. Most of his best cards cost four or even five. Heart of Kiran for Kazu. There's no third sensor in Gerard's list, so he's fine for now. Gerard draws immediately. No, not interested in milling off. Oh, and he milled a search off the search for Escanta. That, that one's pretty easy. easy. Four cards already in the graveyard. Vraska's Contempt up for Gerard. Everything is he's going to coast through on this one. Yeah, Kazu making land drops, so that's a good sign. Here's three. It's going to be Thrashing Brontodon. See if Gerard can counter. If he has a counter spell... It would answer this cleanly. Otherwise, something gets to stick around, and he'll have to use that Vraska's Contempt. Mm -hmm. And this is actually one of the spots for the Bronze Don. It's quite good. Yeah, I can it hit has the, the search. search. That's the only target in Fabiano's deck. That's really big, because we don't know if Gerard actually has a finisher yet. I think right now he was planning that Search for Escanta would be his finisher. Actually, I apologize. Fabiano playing two Torrential Gearhawks. Okay. But... Uh, that's an exchange that he's more fine with. So I like what Gerard did instead. Instead of using Vraska's Contempt, he saw that he was going to lose his search for Escanta. So instead, took four off Heart of Kiran, just cast Glimmer. At 18, moment of craving, put him up to 22. Draws Disallow. Kazu has to watch out when he pulls the trigger on this Brontodon. He doesn't always... If he, if he misses his window, that Ascanta could transform, and I don't think he wants to let that happen. Yes. Same time, you need your dinosaur, because how else are otherwise... You can't drive your plane without a dinosaur. And what Kazu's deck does is it just taps out, casts threats. If your opponent is activating Ascanta the Sunken Ruin, it's not hard to answer one threat every turn. Well, here's Rishkar from Kazu. Rishkar... Kazu's done letting dinosaurs drive his planes. Now Rishkar is going to drive the plane. Both will swing in. This is going to be for eight. Should force some action from Gerard. He did not disallow the Rishkar. It looks like he has another plan. Five cards in Graveyard. Vrasa's Contempt would be six. If he contempts something else, like the Heart of Kiran here, I think Kazu has to blow up that Surge. He can't just let it transform, right? Things really slip away pretty quickly if you do. Be a little bit surprised if we don't see Kazu go for that. It is kind of mana intensive, but uh, Fabiano's been making land drops. He's doing all right on that front. When this is the greediest of plays. No removal. Gerard's just going to put Torrential Gearhulk into play, targeting Glimmer. This is pretty bad for Kazu, actually. Yeah. Fabiano pulling it's, up more on cards. This it, jumps in front of the Brontodon, forces that action in one way or the other. Either Kazu can destroy the Gear Hulk or destroy the Search. This is greedy in the way that I really like from Gerard. He blocks the Brontodon. Kazu will shoot down. He had choices here, either the Gear Hulk or the Search. He takes care of the Search with the Brontodon. Gerard goes to 14. And because the heart's been sticking around, I do like that target quite a lot. You have this flying attacker. You're not super concerned about the Gear Hulk. I believe he has had yeah. a Shalai in his hand for a while, and looks like Angel of Sanctions is available, so they have more flying attackers. The danger is that Kazu has not forced Gerard to use any of his cards. Right? His last play has been Glimmer and Gear Hulk for Glimmer. So any counter spells, any removal that Gerard's drawn, it's still there. Yep. And now Gerard can just race. Kazu's down to 15. 
And in general in this matchup, the longer the game goes, the more that is going to favor Gerard. Absolutely. He has Disallow and Vrasa's Contempt up. You see he actually separates his lands to show just that. <laughs> and we see a first of our angels here. Shalai. We have Shalai, Voice of Plenty. This card tends to be quite good against blue-white. It's a bit worse when your opponent has black removal spells and yeah. doesn't have Settle the Wreckage. Disallow takes care of Shalai. Crew for Heart of Kiran and Fatal Push from Gerard holds that Contempt back in his hand. He hasn't gotten it forced just yet. Yeah. Save that for a Planeswalker or something you need to exile. Five more from Gerard, two, two hits away, Kazu drops to ten. Vraska's Contempt on the Rishkar as well. He wants to take Kazu off some mana before he passes the turn and just clean the board completely. Pretty aggressive use of Contempt suggests that Fabiano has a pretty good point of interaction in hand left over. Yeah, he has something else, be it a Contempt or a, well, we'll see. Karn is the play from Kazu. It's going to minus two to make a blocker. Gerard just untaps. Because the Gearhulk doesn't clearly, cleanly deal with the Karn, I think I would have been inclined to plus one there, though I also don't think either line wins the game. Cast down for the blocker. Gearhulk takes care of the Planeswalker. Back to Kazu. Right now, Gerard has not... He's ahead, but he doesn't have a way to close. Uh, check that. He's got another glimmer of genius. That's excellent. Top, bottom. So I want something he likes. We'll go back. Clean game so far from Gerard. Yeah, so he'll Essence extract the Rishkar. Go to 19. That lines up quite well. Two copies of that in the main deck here for Gerard. And the Gear Hulk only takes one more yeah. hit to be lethal. Swing for five. And the other card off that Glimmer was a Teferi. We'll go ahead and draw an extra card. Untap two lands. This should be good enough. Yeah, the Teferi should cover any blocker or any kind of answer that Kaz was able to present on the following turn. Theoretically, another thrashing Brontodon would allow Kazu to deal with the Gear Hulk, but then there would be the matter of the Teferi. Hard to imagine Kazu getting out of this one. And he's not gonna. Picks up the cards. Game one does go to Gerard Fabiano. Winner of this should be in the top eight. Kazu's gonna have to mount a comeback. We'll look at his path to that comeback when we come back in just a minute.
back here. Gerard Fabiano, Esper Control, takes game one over Kazu's Abzan Angels. But just like many decks here in standard, Kazu's Cyborg's going to start with four duress. It's like the blood moon of standard. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> it's great against whatever I play, and everybody plays it. <laughs> All right, yeah, two Life Crafters, Best Jerry, two Thopter Arrest, a Cast Down, a Carnage Tyrant, a Baffling End, second Harvester, third Lyra, fourth Brontodon, and second Vraska, all available to Kazu. Yeah, so Dress, obviously great. Life Caster's best Jerry, pretty solid in these matchups. Generate card yeah. advantage, cry a bunch, it's quite good. Carnage Tyrant, pretty excellent. That one's really tough to answer. Drod's going to be in trouble if you resolve that. He's not playing sweepers, he's all one, rem one for one removal. Um, not, mu not much else really plays here. I don't mind the Vraska Relic Seeker, actually, just because Planeswalkers that generate value over time are pretty good against decks that are trying to outvalue you. I was hoping from Gerard's side to see a bunch of mid-range cars on the sideboard, just like some secrets of the Golden City. Well, it's just um, too bad that Ashiok isn't standard legal. Well, that would just that would have been in the main. Oh, yeah. Uh, two Gontis, that's a very Gerard thing to be doing. Oh, yeah. You don't only see those in control sideboards. Pretty but, good uh, and he's going to he's gonna board them in. Oh, they're, they're, they're already in. Yeah. I Doom, feel, yeah. Got a couple Doomfalls. That lines up reasonably. Kazu is spending all of his mana most of his turns to cast one threat. Three mana clean answer makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I like any removal, be it Doomfall, Hour of Glory. I like Scarab God. How do you feel about Knight of Malice? Uh, Kazu is playing white creatures. However, it's kind of a more of a mid-range fight. Yeah, I think mostly it's going to be outsized. Don't really love it here. Gerard shuffling down to six. Yeah, that's mostly there for the red decks. Red decks and blue-white control where you're turning off enchantment-based removal, things like that. With Kazu on the play, hope to be able to shake up the man a little bit earlier. Big problem in game one was that his mana creatures were dealt with early. Got a saw, Servant to the Conduit, hit by Sensor. Land of War Elves hit by Fatal Push, and wasn't really able to cast any of his threats at any kind of rate where they were going to matter for Gerard. He had plenty of time to get online with Frasca's Contempts, whatever. Looks like Gerard's kept on six here. Kazu leads with Scattered Groves, Gerard with the Swamp. And turn two land where else no second land for Kazu, and oh, Gerard okay. has a fatal push. And yeah, second land for Gerard. Let's see if Kazu can find a second for himself. Yeah, second. Uh, he found a land where else. That's kind of a land, except not when Gerard plays Moment of Craving, it isn't. Yikes. And this could be over as soon as it starts. Now, Gerard also doesn't have a land. And Ryan, this was so greedy. Ha Gerard drew Sensor. He could have cycled to go for the land. But instead, he didn't, and now it's a live card. He'll Essence Scatter instead of Censoring. Yes, we should be uh, out of energy now. So Gerard did have Black to spend the energy, the yeah. The thing about Cycling Sensor is it would cost all of your energy. And you wouldn't be able to use the hub for anything meaningful. And here is Servant of the Conduit from Kazu. Gerard, no blue mana, but he has another moment of craving. And who's going to draw out of it first? There we go. Gerard has one, but it's a tap land. Back over to Kazu. He draws a land, too. So despite such a weird start, Ryan, we actually have a game. Lifecrafter's best Jerry from Kazu. Yeah, that is about the best the third best mana spell. Jerry the card. best Jerry The best Jerry third mana play. Gerard, fourth land. It's Glacial Fortress. Now his mana is not only... He, didn't just, he hit his blue mana last turn, and now his white mana this turn. He is set up. So both players just kind of online. Took some time getting there, but... Yeah, now they're both throwing lands. Kazu scries one to the top with the Bestiary. Bestiary is generally only leverageable if you have a decent amount of mana. That fourth land drop's going to help. Though many of his threats do cost four and five. Ballista, and he could go Ballista on two. Instead, it's going to be Ballista on one and draw a card. A capital like that. Yep, definitely agree with that play. Yeah, he's going to make every creature draw a card. At this yeah, point. you want to draw the card. The Blissa on two is also not a significant difference in this matchup. You're not shooting down creatures, attacking two for two is whatever, because Gerard's going to kill your Blissa at, at some point. Right, Gerard here is on a Glimmer. Now, he does have his one sideboard copy of Scarab God in his hand. It'll be a second one, so he has two post board. And I guess if he doesn't, can't play control against Bestiary, you might just see him try to slam a Scarab God here. That is what is really likable about the Esper and the blue-black deck is sometimes you just jam Scarab God and you can win the game proactively. Yeah, when you lose control of the board. And now Gerard has to really make that decision. Is he going to try to manage this board or just power through it? Seven cards in hand. A lot going on. 
Land five. Yeah, Gerard is Gerard is always <laughs> not always one to take a mid range line. It makes sense. It's strong here too. Yes. And there's nothing you really need to answer just yet, unless you have an answer specifically for the bestiary. Right. The walking bliss doesn't really matter. You can leave mana up for the next turn play, but you can just get that on the way back. Angel of Sanctions from Kazu, but I don't think that's going to stick around as the Ballista swings in for one. Yeah, we saw this come up in our last matchup where Michael Hamilton was able to take down an Angel and then just grab it with Scarab God. Yeah, and Kazu probably knows this, too. I mean, Gerard has a seven-card hand. You're going to tell me that Esper Control doesn't have a removal spell here? I, I don't believe it. This is a game where both players have missed many land drops. That's just a grip full of spells. Right. Is there a timing window? Gerard passes. He has the Contempt but I guess he wants to do an end step so he can untap. Yeah, then being able to activate Scarab God straight away is pretty powerful. Also, you won't get hit by any more sorcery speed yeah, removal, yes. maybe another Angel of Sanctions. Scries to the bottom with... Yeah, he's close. He doesn't know which one he wants to do with Best Jerry. Looks like Kazu will choose to draw. Does like the card enough to keep it. Let's keep going. So if he can get some damage in. He's Shalai going to be the play again. He'll draw a card off Bestiary with Shalai. This is a good and good and all. However, the Shalai forces action on the Angel of Sanctions right now. Once the Shalai right. resolves, Gerard would have to answer that one first. Right. Now Kaz will be tapped out, so there's no worry about, say, a second Angel. Right. Be really, Gerard has five lands. If he had six, I believe he could censor and contempt, which would be incredible. Yeah, the card that Gerard perhaps should have been concerned about last turn would be Kazu on tapping and having blossoming defense, but sure. the way that this shook up, Kazu wasn't even able to represent that. So contempt takes care of the Angel of Sanctions. Scare got back into play. Bestiary draws a card. Now Shalai's in play. But Gerard's going to untap. There are creatures in the graveyard, mostly just Lanoir Elves, but hey, they'll still, do. They're all 4-4s. Four <laughs> Tapping for mana also pretty good. Yeah. Upkeep, Gerard. Well, he'll steal back uh, Servant of the Conduit. He can use some energy. Actually, I don't believe he got the energy. They likely won't need it. Yeah, not a huge deal. He's hit plenty of land drops. Scries the Scarab God and then draws for turn. Yeah, that hub nowhere near as important as it was on turn two. And Scarab God will come in for five. Kazu down to 15. It's so hard to keep pace with the Scarab God if it's still on the table. Guard's busted. Yeah, it's really strong. Especially with Frass's Contempt exiling the Angel. Kazu can't embalm it. He'll need to find another way to remove it. And he's really not trying to interact on that kind of axis with this deck. You know, frequently if you're playing white, you have some things maybe cast out, Ixalan's yeah. Binding. Those are not available in this deck. He has one ca he has two Thopter Arrest in the sideboard, which could possibly work here. He'll make six mana for Vraska Relic Seeker. Ugh, and Gerard, sensor. he converts a late game sensor that's brutal. Oh, wow. And it, it, it will not take long for the Scarab God to close this game from here. Yeah, that, the Vraska felt, Ryan, like it was Kazu's window. Mm -hmm. If Gerard wants, because of that Servant, he could double activate Scarab God here in the upkeep. Minimally, yeah, it makes mana. activate Scarab God and leave up mana for any point of interaction. Yeah, what you can do instead is not activate an upkeep, just do nothing, swing and activate it twice on end step. Here's nine. I he mean, doesn't have to do a lot more to win this game. Right. Scarab God wasn't answered. Block and a shoot from Kazu. Gerard at 21, but he'll take four, go to 10. Aether Hub from Gerard leaves up eight. He's got some Scarab Gods, but he's going to play the Gonti because, you know. Oh, he's checking. <laughs> Can he? Gonti's target opponent, right? I believe so. Certainly not each opponent. Yeah. All right. I wouldn't cast Gonti anymore. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit worse than activating a Scarab God with the Shalai out. Good catch by Gerard in the last second. I would have jammed it in his yeah. spot 100%. <laughs> Says go. It should still be fine. Don't think that Gonti is the reason that uh, Kazu brought Shalai to battle, but it is a funny interaction. 
And this next turn should be Gerard closing it out. You need a really big one on the draw step here. Kazu scries to the bottom with the best Chieri. But yeah, the Thopter arrest, those cyborg copies are among his better draws, but you know, it looks like he has not produced one and it's not even doesn't clean out everything up. See Lana Warrells activate Bestiary, draw a card, and looks like a fistful of creatures for Kazu. I mean it's mostly a green white deck. You'd expect it, but so when he's behind, it's just difficult to keep playing. Yep. Swing for three puts Gerard to eighteen. He'll make a servant of the conduit. Kazu will draw again. But at this point it's unclear what we're drawing to. There's going to be four four fours in play. He'll be drained for three on the upkeep. I just don't see Kazu making it out of this turn. Currently just two blockers and any combination of two of the creatures with two activations is lethal. Both 4-4s, four Landwer Elves and Walking Ballista. Upkeep, drain for three. Kazu down to six. Gerard could even put two more counters on the Walking Ballista. <laughs> that. He sure could. And Kazu will extend the hand. So Gerard Fabiano going to win this 2-0 and with that he moves into the Invitational Top 8. We're going to see him tomorrow back in Modern. For Kazu Negri, a great performance here. One of the better Jeskai games I've seen in a while. Brought himself all the way to the win and in and falls one match short but that should still be good.